In this video, I'm going to share five tips that you need to put into practice before your job interview. I'll also give you some examples of what you need to avoid at any cost during that process. Hi, it's Fran from Packet Forwarding. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to check out the other videos we have on interview preparation for network engineers. Let's jump into it. Tip one, study less, study smart. If you already have an interview schedule, chances are you only have a couple of days or maybe a couple of weeks. That said, you need to make sure to limit your interview preparation to only what's relevant for the job. To give you an example, let's say that the job that you apply for requires you to have some scripting skills. It wouldn't make sense for you to spend time on web development or something like database administration topics. Don't get me wrong though, it'll be great if you already had those skills because that is more value that you are bringing to the table. Tip two, understand the question before giving an answer. You'll be surprised at how many silly mistakes us interview candidates make during interviews just because we didn't understand the question. So be sure to take a few seconds to ensure that you understand the question before you come up with an answer. Now, if the question was kind of confusing, just ask the interviewer to clarify. Keep in mind, this is a bi-directional communication. And what that means is that the interviewer and yourself need to be on the same page. Tip three. Keep your answers aligned with the questions. You need to avoid bringing up unrelated information while answering a question. That is, unless they specifically asked you about it. The last thing that you wanna do is throw yourself into a rabbit hole. For example, let's say that they ask you to explain BGP route reflectors. It wouldn't make sense for you to bring up something like SDN to the topic, right? Tip four. Take some time to know your interviewers in advance. This one is a game changer because it's not only going to help you on your interview preparation, but it's also going to help you come up with some meaningful questions for you to ask to the interviewer. Let me give you an example. Let's say that your interviewer specializes on DNS. It is very likely that you'll get at least one question on DNS during that interview. Now, if you don't have the names of the people on the interview panel, make sure to ask your recruiter to share that information in advance. Once you get the information that you need from the recruiter, it is going to be rather easy for you to get some basic background information from the interviewers. Just grab the name and do a quiz search on a platform such as LinkedIn. And that's hopefully going to give you information such as job experience and the technologies that that interviewer specializes on. Tip five, keep it real. You have to stay true to your skill sets and avoid lying on your resume about job experience you don't have or technologies you haven't been exposed to in a professional ground. It'll be embarrassing if it turns out you don't know what you claim to know on your resume. Now, I have a bonus for you. We have a video on the channel that's going to explain the interviewing process on big companies such as Amazon, Facebook, and Google. I'll make sure to leave a link to it on one of the corners here. All right, this is going to wrap it up for now. If you got any value out of this video, make sure to hit that like and consider subscribing to the channel. Also, share the video with a friend that could benefit from it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.